So we're in our grassy area. This is right next to the creek back there. There's a fair amount of water here. It's very wet, very cool. And here is Buster. Buster is deaf. He's pretty sweet and he's pretty smart. We've had a number of deaf dogs up here at the Orphan Dog Ranch, um, both as foster dogs and orphans and as owned dogs, dogs that we have owned, dogs that we have kept for life that are deaf. And um, Buster does pretty good. Um, so far, I never have to go find him to tell him that we're leaving for a walk or um, heading out. Because what's hard about him is that you feel bad. You know, you ditch him accidentally. You, you go running out to the barn or whatever, and then you realize that all the dogs are with you except for the deaf dog because he didn't notice that everybody just walked out on him. <coughs> and then they give you that look when you get back in there. <coughs> Excuse me. But with Buster here, every time I turn around, he's right there. Um, he does sleep hard. But he sleeps when it's time to sleep. I mean, he seems to know already what the schedule is. I'm sure if I got up at 9.30 and decided to hike around outside, he might miss it. But right now, he's not missing anything. So I haven't taught him the signal for come along yet because he's always right here. He gets along with the other dogs. There's um, some issues sometimes because he uh, doesn't know when to quit. He gets growled at or he gets a warning and uh, he doesn't hear it, doesn't get it, doesn't understand it. So for example, him and Johnny, and this is Johnny right next to him, they had a uh, rope toy between the two of them and they're running down the road we're the rope toy, and both of them are growling over the toy, but it's play, play growling, and they're having fun. But then they readjusted their grips on the toy, and Johnny's lip got caught underneath Buster's teeth. And Johnny started yelping, and of course Buster had no idea that something was going wrong. So Johnny got kind of upset. But he just didn't get it. He had no idea. And Johnny got himself free and everything was fine. But So that's Buster. He is pretty much house trained. Um, he's not very well crate trained. Uh, we're trying to feed him in a crate. Right now he won't even eat in the crate. Because he doesn't like it that much. I mean, that's how much he doesn't like it. He won't even eat in it. I'm just going to wait him out and see if I can get some compliance, at least get him to stay in the crate for a couple hours. You know, because really, once he's asleep, he's asleep. It doesn't matter where he is. He just passes out, and he's done. So that's Buster, and he's a good boy.